water reversion on a 7.4 liter with a bit of a cam. Here we've got a stock exhaust manifold. This is Sierra manifold. Then we've got the riser. Who makes that riser? CMI, IMCO. That's an IMCO riser, okay? The way it's sitting in the boat, this is really, this exhaust hose is almost straight out the boat and it's not very long, about that long. Customer complains, water in the cylinder, water in the oil. So what we did is we disconnected the water hose from the water pump that feeds this. We ran it with the spark plugs in at first and we had water coming out on our hands, blowing out of the spark plug holes. After we checked a few things and redid this gasket area that was warped about 30 thousandths of an inch, we thought for sure that was it, but it was not all of it. It did take care of the water in this hole by repairing this gasket flange but we still had water on this one a little bit. So as we ran it again with the spark plugs out and this hose disconnected, after just a few seconds, there was no more water coming out of this spark plug hole, indicating the problem is here at the manifold. So we wanted to pull this manifold off, even though it's new, uh, newer, uh, probably a year or less old, and we wanted to pressure test it. So we just got done pressure testing it and the manifold is fine. So what's happening is here, we got water in this number five cylinder. We've got this exhaust water coming in here, pressuring the manifold, filling it up, and coming out here and dumping water around the exhaust hose right here. We've got exhaust here, but we have a little bit of vacuum on the engine as she's got a lopy idle because she's got a big cam in it, right? The overlap. Everybody's probably heard of that. And what's happening is it's sucking. Uh, this is creating a vacuum and sucking water that's, that's damn near laying flat in here. It's just sucking it back in and it's literally just running right down into this cylinder. And that's why it has water in it. So either we need to get this riser a lot higher or we need to get this exhaust pipe a lot further away. They call it dry piping it, right? You wanna dry pipe that and get it way out there so the water is dumping further away so there's no chance of reversion. So that's what needs to happen. Uh, another example of somebody's poor boy job on a donor boat that I've been stripping parts off of for my own is this guy's exhaust system. Let me go around a little bit better. Sorry about that. Let me go over here and show you what this guy did. You can see right there, this guy had the same problem. So on his riser, he welded a stainless steel pipe going all the way out the back of the boat. Now that may have cured it, it may not have, I don't know, but it probably did. And uh, his motor probably had too big of a cam in it, this motor's junk, but he did it to both sides. That's called dry piping it, pretty much. That's what needs to happen to make that work. So once again, if it's one side's doing it, the other side's gonna do it as well. So this cylinder, getting water, running directly in from here, straight down. And that's it. We need to correct that and everything's going to be fine.